At the sound of the bell, your challenge will begin. Dixie's got her game face on. Dixie's ready to rock and roll. She's definitely probably the most vocal dog here. <laughs> what do you think of that, Dixie? Is that fun? Charlie goes on a lot of adventures, whether we're traveling for fun or whether she's on a different set for work. Like, she's, she's used to different situations. Jeremy and I are definitely a team of goofballs, and we just want to have a good time. I felt like Snow knew where we've been, because she was kind of like, guiding me, so it's like she figured out the game. Jax is quite the model. I always think he's very, very handsome. I'm not sure if that's just how I feel, because I'm his mom. I also may have traveled a lot, military and, and, and just in casual purposes, but this experience, we get to work together as a team. I know lots of the other dogs here are very like pumped up and riled up all the time, but Bosley, he's just cool as a cucumber. Chance is the smallest dog in the competition. He's the tiniest one, coming in at eight pounds. <laughs> Griffin is a badass and she's fearless and I feel like she'll do anything and she'll go for anything. She's definitely like an alpha type girl. Kifo is pretty adventurous. We do a lot of tracking, so we're out in the wilderness a lot. Both Ace and I, uh, we're very much more into the outdoors than we are the city. I'm like so crazy proud of Duchess. I can't even. Yes, yes. You are amazing. You know that? You. No, no, no. Search. Uh, no, no, so you were sniffing, search. She was very excited to see Derby, so she was barking, 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 trying to pull me towards Derby, and I was just like, oh my gosh. This is Snow, she's my standard poodle, and it's almost like we're just one being. What I do for a living is I'm a dog groomer. To me, grooming is an art form. I cut dogs' hair, I color their hair. Snow, you're gonna look so fire after this. Yeah. It's time to get wet, girl. This is Derby. He's a golden doodle. You got the devil in you. So when I first came to California, one of the things I wanted to do was learn how to surf. So I would take the board out, but uh, Derby kept following me out there. So one day, I just picked him up and put him on the board, and then I just pushed him in a wave, and he literally rode that thing standing up all the way to the beach, turned around and looked at me like, is this what you're trying to do? <laughs> One of the reasons we wanted to do this is having new adventures together, I think is what bonds us the, the most. This is Jax. He's my best friend, my support system. He's basically my everything. Jax is a golden retriever. Golden retrievers love the water, are smart, <laughs> loves food. He's a golden retriever at its purest form. <laughs> Jax is loving being off leash and he's like having the time of his life. Jax! Jax! And I see him run right past a cameraman and the cameraman just takes a spill. Don't let this little face fool you. He, when he wants something, he will go and get it. I'm a mechanical engineer and an adventure photographer and this is my adventure buddy, Ace. Ace is a Border Collie. They're known to be the most intelligent dog breed on the planet, and they've been bred to be hyper-intelligent and super athletic so that they can perform tasks that are incredibly complex. And uh, he's just a fun adventure buddy. He can keep up with me no matter where we go. This is Alistair. He's a wired-haired right terrier, and he is the best little gentleman you will ever meet in your life. Alistair is an English name, and I really think that uh, he is a proper English gentleman. He's polite, has the perfect fashion, and he's just a very, very calming guy. He'll be <laughs> <hide. laughs> Hey, you gonna fall off the couch? Come here. You gonna fall off? This is Kipo. He's a two-year-old blue lacy. Most people have never heard of a blue lacy. There's very few of them. 
Originally, they were bred to work cattle on large ranches, and that's what Kipo likes. He is a very individual personality. He's a good boy. I've been working at the fire department for uh, eight years here. As a firefighter, we have to stay calm in high stressful situations. I really use Kipo and rely on him to cope with that. And uh, he has no clue what's going on, but he comforts me. Growing up in Utah was really, really difficult for me, being that I am Iranian. I had kids tell me my parents think that your family are terrorists and stuff like that. And it was really, really traumatic as a kid. I was honestly just having a really hard time in general. And when the time came to leave Salt Lake, Bosley moved to LA with me. We actually were sleeping in a rental car together when I first moved here. He helped me get through everything. He's the most concrete thing in my life, for sure. Something in me just said, just give up, man. It's over with. You're not going to catch him. And then you look down at her. You got to keep going. My name is Brian. This is Dixie. She's a blue tick coon hound. Dixie and I live in Canby, Indiana. And I drive a semi for a living. Occasionally, if I have a short run, Dixie comes to work with me. Are you a super trucking coon hound? Tell him. <laughs> Tell him. Dixie's also a therapy dog. You see this face walking into like the VA hospital, you're going to smile automatically before I've even done anything. You're a sweetheart, Dixie. Dixie, say thank you, veterans. Good girl. Way to go, Charlie. We got it. We got it. She served like a professional. Quiet on the set. OK, Charlie, you ready? My name is Donna, and I am a momager to this beautiful, talented schnoodle named Charlie. Action, Charlie. She has been working as a professional model for about two years now. Can I get a little bit more wind on the ears? That's perfect. I feel like I've taken over the role of the Kris Jenner of dog moms. I get her jobs. I'm there every step of the way. Yeah, we have so much fun doing it. OK, come here, Charlie. Come here. She has been in everything from Bloomingdale's ads to SNL skits. Good girl, Charlie. People can't get enough of this face. Good job, Ruth. Push. Good. Push. Griffin and I are a pair of wild, crazy, energetic tomboys. We love to play beach volleyball, paddleboard, surf, hike, camp. We go together really well. <laughs> she wants a ball. Sunshine. Griffin is very competitive. Every ball is her ball. She is the alpha dog at the dog beach. And I feel like my personality as well matches that. I'm so thankful for her because, you know, as a single 29-year-old going to all the family events solo, she's kind of my plus one to everything. She's my other half, and I'm really grateful for her because I would be really lonely without her. <laughs> if the challenge was humping this toy, I think we can definitely win. <laughs> say hi. You don't want to say hi? <laughs> I'm Lynn. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. I'm 42. <laughs> I'm 42 years old. I'm an artist. And one of my favorite muses is Chance. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Good baby. Good boy. She just completes me. One of our favorite things to do is to match. Like, full-on family twinning. Whenever I can find anything that matches for me and Chance, I'll, I'll grab it. <laughs> You're doing great, Duchess. I am a mama for that keep us very busy. You want some bacon? Duchess is definitely that soothing, comforting, presence that every one of us in the family actually really needs. <laughs> Endless kisses. My oldest daughter had a hard time falling asleep, and we started to allow Duchess in bed with our daughter, and she started sleeping through the night. She's just the best. Like, um... <laughs> am I putting you to sleep? Am I boring you? <laughs> 
everybody here. We couldn't be more different. Yeah! Woo! Bosley! Yes, we all have these incredible bonds with our dogs. Hey, she and I can have this one-on-one -on -one time that we have never been able to get. Woo! Where we can experience these adventures together. Yeah, Kentucky! Yeah. That, to me, is a win. Look at this. This is what it's like working on a studio.